multiplication of fraction. First one is multiplying a fraction and a whole number. 9 multiplied by 5 divided by 11. So here 9 is a whole number and 5 by 11 is a fraction. So multiply the numerator 9 and 5. 9 multiplied by 5 divided by the same denominator 11. So we get 9 multiplied by 5 is 45. Then same denominator 11. 45 divided by 11 is the answer. Next one 3 upon 5 multiplied by 35. 3 upon 5 is a fraction and 35 is the whole number. So multiply the numerator 3 and 35. 3 and 35 multiplied we get 105. Then same denominator 5. 105 divided by 5 we get 21. Multiplying 2 fraction. 1 upon 3 multiplied by 2 upon 5. Multiply the numerator 1 and 2 and the denominator 3 and 5. Multiply the numerator 1 and 2 we get 2 and 3 and 5 15. So the answer we get 2 upon 15. Similarly we can multiply the two fractions 1 upon 4 multiplied by 3 upon 5. Multiply the numerator 1 and 3 and the denominator 4 and 5. Numerator we get 3 and the denominator we get 20. So we get the answer 3 upon 20. Next one is multiplying a fraction and a mixed fraction. 6 by 11 multiplied by 2, 2 by 9. 6 by 11 is a fraction. 2, 2 by 9 is a mixed fraction. So mixed fraction converted into improper fraction. 2 into 9 plus 2 divided by the same denominator 9. Then multiply the number 2 and 9 18. 18 plus 2. 18 plus 2 divided by 9. Then add the numbers 18 and 2. We get 20. Then multiply the fraction 6 divided by 11 and 20 divided by 9. Multiply the numerator and the denominator. Numerator we get 40 and denominator is 33. Then converted into mixed fraction 40 divided by 33 we get 1 7 divided by 33. First we write the quotient 1 then the reminder 7 and the divisor 33. Next one is 2 mixed fraction 6 4 by 7 multiplied by 3 1 by 2. So here we converted into improper fraction 6 into 7 plus 4 divided by 7 and 3 into 2 plus 1 divided by 2. So multiply the number 7 and 6 42 plus 4 divided by 7 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 2 6 6 plus 1 divided by 2. Then add the numbers 42 plus 4 is 46. 6 plus 1 is 7. Then same denominator 7 and 2. Then multiply the numerator 46 into 7. And multiply the denominator 7 into 2. Here we cancel the number 7. 7 is in the both numerator and denominator. So we can cancel the number 7. Numerator and denominator same number on the angle, we will cancel it. If it is 7 in the number, the number denominator and numerator are the number cancel it. So we get 46 upon 2. Divide the number, we get 23.